So, you just started CrossFit, and now you're asking yourself, what should I focus on? Weightlifting, gymnastics, conditioning, what should be my priority? Before we get into it though, I just want to say thank you to my friends over at Gainsbox for sponsoring this video. For those of you curious on what it is, Gains Box is a monthly fitness subscription box filled with all sorts of cool stuff. Each box is worth double its value and it's curated to specifically fit your fitness lifestyle. Most recently, boxes were created by Noah Olson, Brooke Ince, and Josh Bridges. If you're interested in more information about Gains Box, there's a link in the description below. And also, use the code HEPNER for 40% off your first box. So let's talk about goals. Let's talk about goals and dive right into it. How can we create goals and our goals can help us create a priority or a focus or triage to how should we choose between weightlifting, gymnastics, and conditioning? And so really, you need to ask yourself, like I mentioned, what are your goals, okay? Now, usually if you go to a really good CrossFit gym, You'll sit down with a coach in the beginning if you do personal training and they'll ask you that. What are your goals? And most of the time I hear people saying, you know, I want to get two unbroken muscle ups or I want to get 50 unbroken dub blunders or I want to snatch this or run a mile in this time. And while those are really awesome goals, like those are really good goals, those goals are confined to these four walls, right? They're, they're stuck in a CrossFit gym. You're only doing muscle ups and you're only doing dub blunders inside a CrossFit gym. Now I want to quickly caveat and say this, I'm not talking about those of you who might want to compete in CrossFit. Those of you who are thinking, I want to go to the CrossFit Games, or I want to go to a sanctioned event and compete there. I'm only talking about general population, you folks who are general population who are just trying to create goals for yourself. So let's get right back into it. So you have these goals, right? You've, you've, you want to do muscle ups unbroken or double unders unbroken, and I think that's very, very nearsighted. It's not long term goals. You're creating nearsighted goals, still good goals, but nearsighted goals that are based on these four walls in this CrossFit gym. Instead, my advice to you is to create goals that are outside the CrossFit gym. So for instance, I want to compete in a USAW meet, a United States American weightlifting meet, or I want to go run my first triathlon, or I want to go do a Spartan race or some other obstacle course race. Those are great goals that are outside the CrossFit gym. If we really look into it, while CrossFit is a great fitness program, it was only really meant as a fitness program. Sure, it has turned into a sport, and it is a great sport, don't get me wrong, and I hope it never goes away. But at its core, CrossFit is meant as a functional fitness program to help us get into shape. So it was never meant as a goal, like I want to be good at CrossFit. It was meant as a conduit or a way for us to get into shape, to take it outside the gym and use it for other things like doing an obstacle course race, like going out and doing an American Ninja Warrior course or running a triathlon or doing a weightlifting meet. That was the full purpose of CrossFit. So now look at your goal and say, okay, I want to do a weightlifting meet for instance and break it down and say, okay, so how should I focus on weightlifting, conditioning, or gymnastics? And it makes it a lot easier because now you're like, okay, well, I should purely focus on weightlifting. Or hey, I wanna run a triathlon, what should I focus on? Well, I'd probably say a lot of conditioning. Or hey, I wanna do an obstacle course race, like a Spartan Beast, what should I focus on? Well, I'd say it's kind of a mixture of conditioning and gymnastics. Now, I wanna caveat and say that just because you want to do a goal doesn't mean you neglect every other piece and every other focus, right? So yes, um, I want to do a triathlon or run an Ironman. It doesn't mean I'm just going to focus on conditioning and focus on absolutely nothing else. Instead, I do think that certain athletes in long distance sports like that would benefit from doing weightlifting. And I think that weightlifters can definitely benefit from learning body awareness from gymnastics. There are definitely benefits on both sides. And I don't think just because you're choosing a goal that's very polarized doesn't mean that you neglect everything else just to focus on that. Now you might be sitting there thinking to yourself, well Jacob, yeah, I don't have any goals. And so the first thing i tell you would be, hey, you need to find a good goal. Find a good goal outside the CrossFit gym that you want to accomplish. And if you sit there all day and rack your brain and you can't come up with a single thing, then here's my advice to you. 
Your priority breakdown for gymnastics, weightlifting, and monostructural or conditioning should be broken down and kind of compared back to the CrossFit pyramid. And the CrossFit pyramid says nutrition is the most important thing, right? It's the base of the pyramid. And obviously that's pretty obvious. You can't outwork a bad diet, right? And then on top of that, the next most important thing is conditioning or metabolic conditioning is what they're gonna call it. But conditioning is really important. And the next thing up is gymnastics and the next thing up is weightlifting. And so that's a great kind of uh, breakdown to use if you don't have any goals to specifically tailor to yourself. So then use that. And I would say if you have to break it down by hour. So let's say you walk into a CrossFit gym you're like I have 60 minutes to work out. How should I compare that to the CrossFit pyramid? How should, why should I break it down? How should I focus on these things? I'd honestly say like 30 minutes or 25 minutes should be spent on conditioning. Um, and then 10, 15, 20 minutes should be spent on gymnastics. And the smaller part, whatever's left over should be weightlifting. That kind of fits the CrossFit pyramid now. That's not a daily occurrence. Like treat that as kind of a template. Because at the same time, I, I'm not saying you should do conditioning for 30 minutes a day. That's ridiculous, right? You're not, you're, not, you're not doing Cindy over and over and over every single day or doing Murph. Instead, I'm saying like in terms of the pyramid, that's how the breakdown should look like. And of course, there's always the idea that warming up for weightlifting takes a long time. So if you're trying to weightlift, you should probably spend more than 10 minutes. So bear that in consideration. And honestly, that's the best way to answer it. How you should focus on programming and how you should focus on where you put your time and your priorities is mainly based on you you and your goals and that's the simplest way to put it anyways guys thanks for watching and also thanks to my friends over at Gainsbox for sponsoring this video if you have other ideas for topics of discussion for so you just started CrossFit make sure to put them in the comments below I'm always reading them and I'm always commenting back anyways guys have a great day talk to you guys later see ya